This morning, yellow warbler came into my yard, which is a special treat. I don't normally get those. And last week, there was a flock of yellow rumped warblers. Today, I'm going to talk to you about our warblers in Colorado. This is Susie, conservation coordinator for Denver Audubon. So the warblers were in the bushes behind me here. I think this one is a cotton easter, which is a ornamental landscaping plant, not native to Colorado. So it's not really the best for our Colorado species. But then the other one here behind me is the choke cherry. And you can see that it has some beautiful white flowers. In Colorado, we have many different types of warblers. The Western Guide to Birds has over 20 species listed. I'm gonna focus on four today. The yellow warbler is really bright yellow bird overall, has yellow along the tail, and the male has reddish streaks on the breast. The yellow rumped warbler, which I saw in my yard a couple of weeks ago, has two different types that you might see. Both types, though, have a bright yellow rump patch, which is really obvious when the bird's flying away, and a small yellow patch at the side of the chest. The myrtle warbler has a white throat that wraps up behind the dark cheek patch, and the Audubon's warbler has a yellow throat and a little bit plainer face. The common yellow throat male is very easy to identify because the male has a bandit style black mask that contrasts with his yellow throat and has a pale stripe above. The Wilson's warbler is another one of those species where the male and the female look different from each other. It's a long-tailed warbler, bright yellow below, with a pale face and large eyes. The male has a black cap right at the top of his head. The warblers were flitting around in these two bushes looking for insects. They eat insects, teeny tiny little flies exclusively, and they're attracted to these plants because of the flowers that are on them attract the insects, which attract the warblers. We don't typically see warblers in neighborhoods because they like to stick to the forest in the wooded areas of Colorado. So if your land backs up to a river where there's a lot of native wooded trees, then you might see these in your yard. The yellow warbler is the most frequently banded bird at our research station in partnership with Bird Conservancy of the Rockies that we run every year at Chatfield State Park you can still see the birds that we are banding and studying through a live webinar stream. You can sign up for those on our website and I will provide the link below. Thank you for joining me for another Garden Birds video with Denver Audubon. I hope you get a chance to see a warbler 